What's up, y'all? This is Deva from the Age Auto Production, and welcome back to your reaction video. So, what you're about to see is, or should I say, it's gonna have you rethink about being careful on loot, on like lifting weights and weight training and stuff. I'm a little worried that this video is going to end up being the most controversial one, and <laughs> I'm kind of freaked out by it, but I'm scared for what the outcome is going to be once we watch the video together, so let's jump right into it. The body isn't really meant to be between 330 and 350 pounds. Oh my god. What do you recommend, bro? I'm trying to get huge. I decided to break the boundaries, I guess. Oh, there's more? What the heck? I work out five to six days a week, about one and a half to two hours a day, depending on how much I'm yapping. This is Biggie Big. He drives the ladies wild, just like his dad. My name is Craig Goliath. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, and I am a bodybuilder, online coach. I'm just trying to get huge. What do you have that's gonna get me huge? Get huge? Get you, like, yeah, you already killing yourself, Craig. I'm trying not to judge this though, but. My God, like, I need to say something so bad, y'all. Awesome. Try to get huge. I just woke up and decided mm -hmm. I want, you know, some muscles. And, you know, once I saw the progress, I just wanted more and more and more, you know. The ten you were already fine before. Why go big? Why risk your health? Oh, my God. Like, this is... I think I think he on the juice, bro. I don't think that's pure muscle. That's like steroid type of, you know, muscle. Naturally, you would have to. I mean, if you were to be a bodybuilder, you would be like normal size. I wouldn't even use steroids because steroids cause all kinds of veins and cause all kinds of negative effects to the body. Good grief, Mo. I was getting, and you guys probably saw that the bus picture. I went kind of viral for a while. Girls were starting to be with sad, and I was like, "Hey, what's up, here? Yeah. All right, lovely ladies, can I get a pick jack? Yeah, hey, a pick jack, yeah. Before I knew it, I just kind of got obsessed. I was a toothpick in high school. I don't remember those days, to be honest with you. I didn't start working out until I was 20. Going from 150 pounds to 350 pounds. Bruh. That is quite. That's dangerous, man. Change. I mean, it's dramatic. Such a crazy comparison. I even like my own pick. It's just kind of like a parent. What in the world, dude? You just tell yourself, when is enough? And you never want to stop because you are never satisfied. So you just keep on going. My God. Negatives about being, you know, 350 pounds of muscle, I would definitely say it's like tying your shoes, taking a shower, um, you know, going upstairs. Most of the little things, but they add up. Your heart can only take so much weight on it, but I don't plan on being like this big forever, you know what I mean? Like, I know there's going to be a certain time I'm going to relax, you know? Bodybuilding to me is one of the hardest things a human being can do. Look at this dude! And it's 24 hours a day. So if you're not eating, you're sleeping. If you're not sleeping, you're training. If you're not training, you're eating more. Oh, oh God. God. It's just like there's always something. You know, like you blink and you got to do something. Yo, this dude is just killing himself. Look at this. No, you look huge, man. All right, let's go. No, you, no, no. I am at Stacks and Yolks. I am here for breakfast. Um, it's meal one for me today. What do you recommend, bro? I'm trying to get huge. So what are we contemplating right now? Extra cheese. And a little more jalapenos too. Sure. I'm really trying to get huge today. It's yeah. Tell. <laughs> oh, funny burrito. French toast. How many did you want to get? Three. Yeah. Wow. 
I eat about four to five meals a day and a shake or two here. Burritos and side bake. Pretty much it just consists of. I don't know what to think about this, y'all. I mean, other than it's gross, disgusting, and it's not healthy. I'm sorry. You know, red meat, chicken, um, complex carbs, or more rice, pasta, potatoes. I'm pushing 340 to 350 pounds, so I got to keep it lean, keep it tight. You know, I'm just placing through the knife. Keeping the sugar low because I want to keep it lean. I want to keep it shredded. No, you doing it more than keeping it low. Yep, that's why you got diabetes. Once you get to a weight of 340 to 350 pounds, your body does not want to be that big. Um, your body fights you every minute it can to get smaller. Oh, there's more? Yeah, our true friendship. Yeah, he, he's, y'all, he's yeah. killing, he is killing himself. Okay, these are so good. He is killing himself. You're not supposed to eat that much food. Probably look a lot sexier. This is me in front of the club, relaxing the hot tub, taking a leak. You don't want me in the club, looking like a scrub. You gotta zoom in on that. Bruh. I do online coaching. Um, I love it. It's an amazing job. Um, I better people's lives for a living. All right, guys. So I'm gonna take you through an arm workout today, and I'm gonna show you normally what I have for biceps and triceps to get those arms super massive. As you can see, I love helping people, you know, achieve their goals and their dreams. Not like that. I feel there's nothing wrong with steroids, considering on how old you are and if you're not abusing it. You know, and you're using it for the right reasons. What did I tell you? What did I tell y'all? I knew he was on steroids. I knew that. I knew they wasn't just pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I told y'all this dude was on the juice this whole time. Didn't I, didn't I just say that he was on the juice? You don't get muscle by, by doing it naturally. You get steroids by getting muscles. It's like eating chicken wings, you know, you know, just big fat chicken wings you see at the stores and they they, and they be looking all big and stuff. They say no, the people be putting steroids in chicken and stuff. That's what this dude looks like. He looks like a chicken wing. Very common for bodybuilding, but um, I was always a huge believer in building your foundation first. Like, I have so many clients, they're like 18, 19, 20. Craig, I want to jump on, I want to jump on, what do you recommend? Uh, bro, you still have a lot more growing to do. Um, you know, get that natural muscle first, you know what I mean, and then take it to the next level. You know, that's what I like. Uh, if I were to train it, I would tell my clients to, if you want to go, like, if you want to build your body first, Stay natural. Do not jump on the juice. Steroids is not a good thing. It's been big on. I do a lot of stupid stuff too, as you can see on my Instagram. Gotta get that mass to get that ass. Here we pop. Sometimes people will come up to me and you know they'll want some pictures. I love when they come up and say hi. I see them as my people. Yo, again. this dude is gone too far, I'm Mo. I'm very proud of the journey. I feel like 19 has been. Definitely one of my best years by far. Um, my business has grown. Um, my name has grown. A lot of people, are, you know, are working. Look at this. This, doing stuff they don't know. this is they this is not healthy. I find it a blessing. What does the future hold for Craig Elias? Um, I'm very content right now with how things are going. You know, what I mean, all I can do is oh my from where I'm at right now. Just better myself. You know, better everything. Keep on climbing. What do you got that's gonna get me absolutely massive? I'm trying to get age. What? Trying to gauge. I'm sorry? I literally do not know what to say about this. This dude is killing himself. Steroids, the eating, and getting big and stuff. I understand that you were a skinny child growing up in high school, but you could have gotten muscles the natural way rather than using the juice. And the fact that you're just going in restaurants eating so much pancakes and, ugh, it's just, dude, like, you call yourself getting healthy, but here you are just doing this. And then you call yourself a, a positive influencer and you going around doing this? 
being that big and people look up to you and plus you're using steroids I'm sorry but this is not this is not good yo this is not good I've seen better fitness trainers that are a positive influence you know that 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 make a huge difference to people's lives but this this is taking it way too far yo I said I wasn't going to judge this dude, but he made me do it so bad, y'all, because I stuff like this just scares people. It scares me. Like, the dude could add him with, I, I, you know, can end up in a heart, heart attack or a stroke or even get sicker if he doesn't stop this crap. There are better ways of getting healthy and getting strong, but this is this is not the way, bro. I'm sorry, but I'm totally against this. If y'all enjoyed this reaction video, let me know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on this dude? Do you really think you took it too far? Do you think he should stop doing what he's doing before he gets himself hurt? Let me know now. Until then, this is your boy Devin Hughes from DHR2 Productions. And I am out.